Hi class, it's Ms. J, and it's time for another art lesson. So, while I'm talking to you, ask your mom to bring you, or your dad, or your Grammy, a cup of milk. It's always good for you. Maybe some cookies. A piece of paper. It can be a notebook. doesn't matter. A pencil. Or... Crayons would be more fun. And we're going to start. Oh, first, this is my pet rabbit. His name is Harvey. He's very well behaved and he's not going to interrupt. Are you, Harvey? Harvey says no. Mm, not sure. Harvey is not necessarily the best behaved rabbit all the time. I'm going to show you a picture of some real rabbits. Aren't they the cutest? Look at them. That's a mommy rabbit and her baby, and they're eating grass. And notice they have big, long ears. The ears are so they can hear better. And they're kind of brown and gray, and just really pretty, cuddly looking little rabbits. But here is a picture of the cutest rabbit ever. Isn't that baby the cutest you've ever seen? Look at him. Look at those ears. You can even see they look a little pink on the inside and look at that nose. You can almost see the whiskers and those big brown eyes. That is a sweet rabbit. Wouldn't you like to have one as a pet? Lots of people do keep rabbits as pets. In fact, they've done it for hundreds of years. 200 years ago, there was a painter named Henry Rayburn, and he painted this picture of his stepson with his pet rabbit. His stepson couldn't hear, so he didn't have very many friends, but he loved his rabbit. And this painting is still hanging in a museum in Scotland. It is a true painting of a boy loving his pet. Now what we're going to do is draw a rabbit that's going to look kind of like this. This one is going to be wearing clothes. It's a cartoon rabbit, so it doesn't look exactly real. So you're going to take your paper, and the first thing you're going to draw is a circle for his face. And then you need rabbit ears. They're big hoops, big, tall, skinny shapes like that. And then I'm going to draw a line inside and a line inside here so they look like real rabbit ears. And then we have to do a face on our rabbit. I'm going to do big circle eyes, and I'm going to color in black for the pupils. Now rabbits have twitchy little wiggling noses. They're always smelling things. So the nose is going to be an upside down triangle like that. And then I'm going to make a big smiling mouth and cheeks. It's going to be like a U and another U. Perfect. Now rabbits have whiskers too. So I think I'm going to put three whiskers on each side. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And I'm going to put little dots. They look like freckles. And then we have to draw a rabbit body. So I'm going to do a long line down this way and another long line. But this is going to be our rabbit body and his legs. So I'm going to make this little V up in here. And that gives us legs. And rabbits have very big hind feet. I mean, it's back feet because they jump. So they have to be really strong. So I'm going to give our rabbit really big feet 
I'm going to give him three toes. I don't think rabbits only have three toes. I know a rabbit needs some arms, two arms, and I'm going to give him three fingers. Pretty silly looking, isn't he? And I'm going to put clothing on him. So I'm going to draw a line across his waist like that and the bottom of his pants and I think he needs striped shirt so I'm going to do stripes on his shirt and sleeves and there we have a rabbit we should color it in no I'm going to use brown for his fur. I'm going to color the outside lines of his ears like this. And then I'm going to put pink inside the middle. Remember when we looked at this picture of the baby rabbit? We could see his ears had a little pink on the inside. And I'm going to color his face. And I think this is sort of his cheek. So I'm going to put a little pink there. After all, it's not a real rabbit. I'm going to color in his hands or paws and his feet. And I think I'll give him blue jeans. You can give him pants of any color or you could have put a skirt or a dress on your rabbit. And then I'm going to Give him an orangey red shirt. Then I'll color the stripes like this. And since rabbits like to play in grass and eat grass, I'm just going to put a little green grass under his feet. And there we have the perfect and your rabbit is going to be great. And I think you should send a picture of your rabbit to your classroom teacher, and your classroom teacher can send the picture to me. So thank you. This has been fun, and I love those rabbits.